joined by Chris Breezy, the future <laughs> here at Jackson Wings, talking about LFA 80. Number 80. January 17th, Route 66 Casinos, Legend Theater. Going to be taking on Harrington Banks. You've wanted big opportunities, you wanted big fights. How you feeling? Feeling amazing, you know. Uh, you know, same old thing for me. Uh, every fight's the same. You know, I'm always excited. To, you know, to get an opportunity to go out there and fight. Uh, really glad that I didn't have to have a long uh, layoff after the last fight. You know, after these last two fights, you know, I got a lot of attention on me now. So uh, it should be easier to start getting fights because a bigger name is what want to fight me. Look at this guy, a name like Harrington Banks, a guy that a lot of people didn't want to fight because of his wrestling. And we've heard about your wrestling by now. What do you think of the matchup? I think it's a, a, a good matchup, you know, that everybody wants to see me against more wrestlers because they see my striking and forget that I'm a wrestler or they haven't been around long enough to know that I'm a wrestler. So, you know, just showing off more of my skill set. Um, the last two guys I fought were supposedly supposed to out wrestle me. Uh, that didn't work out. Um, so I'm excited to show uh, another side of my game that people knew haven't seen. We waited so long to see you, Warriors Way Wednesday. And my lord, you hit it with like shit from every angle. That's just the best way to describe it. How was that for you? Uh, it was cool, you know. Um, just went out there and had fun. Like before the fight, uh, I was in the back warming up, and Wink, Coach Wink, was like, "Man, Breezy, you're you're too serious right now." He's like, "You need to get you smiling." So we started messing around, and. Uh, doing a little warm-up and he got me smiling he's like there you go you're smiling so you're way more dangerous when you're smiling and happy and you know then i came out to the fight all smiling and then uh you know just went out there and have fun like no real game plan just you know go out there and do what i do it was a problem in fights for a while due to the word of mouth now people are seeing. they see why nobody wanted to fight me <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them. It's like it was never like, oh, I blamed them for not taking fights. Like it is the smart thing to do, but we're supposed to be fighters. <laughs> what, what's it like living up to expectations? You know, going out there and performing the way not just you want, but those high expectations are set up. Yeah, um, I, I love the pressure. I, I love rising to the occasion. I love that people expect so much of me because they see what I'm capable of. So uh, it does make me want to rise, you know, and want to live up to it. It makes me want to, you know, exceed expectations. I want, like they think I'm going to do good. I want them to show that I'm going to do even better. So uh, yeah, it's just a lot of motivation. After Warriors Way Wednesday, after a performance like that, you get back to the gym. How do you raise the bar higher? Man, um, the bar is going to raise once I start getting better competition and uh, y'all will be able to see more of the things that I'm capable of. You know, still haven't, y'all still haven't seen much of what I do. Uh, just some of my little basic, uh, basic things that I do. I know a lot of nobody does my basic things that I do. So uh, once I actually start opening it up, you see more of my striking, and you'll see more of my wrestling and grappling and things like that. And people will really see uh, more of why they call me the future. Carrington Banks has had that notoriety from the Ultimate Fighter from Bellator. Do you feel like this is a great catapult? Yeah, it's a great. You know, it brings more attention because he's got a lot of. Uh, He's got a lot of eyes on him, got a lot of eyes on me. Uh, he's got named because he was on Ultimate Fighter, so people have seen him. And uh, he was on Bellator, so people have seen him. So uh, it's a step up for me. Um, I don't think it's like, I guess uh, technically it's, it's like a big step up in competition about who I've been fighting. But the last guy I fought had a better record, <laughs> if that would be real. I fought, just fought Tweety, but he was 11 and 2. This dude's 8 and 2. So uh, basically, they're about the same, you know. And I fought Thomas Gifford. He's in, he once got signed to the UFC after our fight of the year fight. So uh, don't really think it's a jump, uh, uh, actual jump in competition. It's just uh, he's just got a name behind him. 
you see the, the confidence, almost the, the cockiness, the swagger. How, does, how are you able to be that comfortable and present yourself in that manner? Um, because I work for it. Like, you know, I'm up at two, three in the morning running 10 miles. Like, who does stuff like that? <laughs> like, nobody does what I'm doing. Like, just my work ethic. Uh, people say it's cocky, but it's confidence. I'm overly calm, not overly confident. I have supreme confidence because I work so hard. I'm in the gym every day. I'm grinding, I'm improving every day. I'm fighting against the best fighters in the world. So, you know, every day I'm trying to get better. So, uh, you know, especially talking the way I talk, I gotta be able to back it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> I definitely make sure I work hard and I'm not all talk. <laughs> Don't look now, but it's back-to-back -back fights. Does that seem almost like, unreal? Man, I, I was surprised that I even got the, the last fight as quickly. I, not really a quick fight from July to, uh, what was it, November? <laughs> yeah, it's like not really a short stint, but it's short for me compared to what I usually have to wait for fights. So I was like, hey, that was a relative quick turnaround, but now this is an actual quick turnaround. So really excited to be able to get right back in the cage. Um, wasn't worried about any ring rust or anything like that, but uh, you know, I'm always ready to go. So I'm excited. Where's Chris Brown at right now in his journey? Uh, I'm still at the beginning of my journey. Like, I'm still just getting started. Like, I've been slept on, you know, uh, held back because nobody would fight me, so it prevented me from being where I wanted to be. So um, now that I finally have the attention on me and uh, the lights on me and everything, so I'm going to take some full advantage of it now. Where does this one take you? Uh, I think this one takes me up to where I need to be. Um, a lot of attention, a lot of articles been put out. Um, everybody, I'm on everybody's radar, so uh, another beautiful win, another highlight win, and uh, I should have people knocking on my door.